We've created this assembly instruction video to help you put the finishing touches on your Lekker bike. Run through these quick steps and you'll be exploring and adventuring in no time. Step one, unpacking your bike and experience box. So, without further ado, let's unbox your Lekker bike and feast your eyes on your newest sidekick. The first step is to unbox your new ride. Please remove the experience box from the packaging. This box will contain all the tools and accessories required to assemble your Yordan GT. Once you've removed the packaging, make sure you have your trusty toolkit to hand. In here you will find the spanners, size 15, 13, 10 and 8, Allen keys size 6, 5, 4, 3 and 1 and a half, Torx 25 key and of course your Phillips screwdriver. Make sure you put the kickstand down when you're removing the bike from the box. Step two, fitting the handlebars. For this step, grab the six millimeter Allen key. Align the handlebar so it is perpendicular to the front wheel. Please note, do not raise your handlebar above the indicated height line. Once you've set your handlebar height, Ensure that the handlebar and front wheel are aligned correctly. Let's get that protective packaging out of the way. Use the 6mm Allen key to adjust the angle of the handlebar. To adjust the angle of the handlebar, loosen the clamp bolt in the front of the stem until you can move the handlebar freely. Once you've found your preferred bar angle, tighten the bolt and make sure your handlebar is centered. Congratulations, the handlebar is now properly in place. Step three, fitting the pedals. To assemble the pedals, you will need a 15 mm open-ended spanner. Today we will start with the right pedal. This one is recognizable by the large R. Insert the pedal into the crank and ensure the pedal is properly tightened. With your hands, attach the right pedal until you feel resistance. Now for the last bit, take out the wrench and tighten them nicely and securely. Same goes for the left pedal, but this time, take note, the left pedal is screwed in anti-clockwise. You can recognise the left pedal by the L stamped on the end of its spindle, as well as the grooves that wrap around its circumference. Easy, like that. Step four, battery setup. The battery on your Yordan GT is removable. This way you can charge it while it is in the bike or separately. Please refer to your written manual for charge times and battery health tips, which can be found on our website. On the right hand side of the battery, you'll find the charging port. A full charge will take four hours. Once your battery has finished charging, recover the charging port with the protective rubber cap. In order to remove the battery, you will have to insert the battery lock key in the keyhole in the frame. Don't insert the key in the charging port as this will short circuit the battery. Standing on the right side of the bike with the steering lock on, turn your handlebars 45 degrees to make room for removing the battery. After turning the key, the battery will partially pop out. With your free hand, assist the battery. With your other hand, move the lever to fully release the battery. Be careful not to damage the front fork and fender. For reattaching the battery, start with the bottom side and then gently click in the top side. Make sure that the battery is properly inserted into the frame. When you feel the click, you'll know it's been locked into place. Please remove the key from the battery lock whilst riding. Step five, getting ready to ride. To turn on your Yordan GT, use the display that's on the left-hand side of your handlebars. Press and hold the power button for two seconds. This will turn on the screen. Once on, you can scroll through the five levels of motor assistance using the plus and minus buttons on the front of the display. Finally, to turn on your front and rear light, press and hold the plus button for two seconds. To change the gears, use the MVOLO speed hub located on the right hand side of your handlebar.
Step 6. Finishing touches. Always pump up your tyres before taking your Jordan GT for your first ride. On your tyre, you can see the minimum and maximum recommended tyre pressure. Using a 5mm Allen key, loosen the seat post clamp bolt, adjust the seat post height. Ensure it's at the correct height for you and tighten the bolt. Use the 6mm Allen key to adjust the angle of the saddle. Next step, safety. Let's attach the bell. By opening one side of the attachment mechanism, you can easily slide the bell onto the handlebar. Once you are happy with the bell's position, you can firmly tighten the screws. Lastly, the reflectors. Once you've fitted the rear reflector, you can fit the front reflector in the same way. And just like that, you assembled your own Jordan GT. From all of us at Lekker Bikes, we'd like to wish you well on all your adventures to come. And if there's something that we can help you with, please don't hesitate to contact us.